enter the rest of God. Hebrews 4 verse 1 Therefore, since a promise remains of entering his rest, let us fear lest any of you seem to have come short of it. Now, in this passage of Hebrews 4, uh, we see why the children of Israel were not able to enter the promised land, which is Canaan. They could not enter the promised land or we would term that as a place of rest uh, because they responded to God in unbelief. Unbelief can keep us from the promises of God or the fulfillment of the promises of God. Uh, and unbelief, even though you know, God brought them out of uh, Egypt, they have had one experience, one powerful experience with God, they are not able to complete the experience that God wants for them, you know, the fullness uh, of the experience of entering the promised land. Unbelief kept them out. And today, one of the giants we face is unbelief. Let's not give unbelief any place in our lives. Unbelief must be replaced with faith. And we know that faith comes from the word of God. And this scripture is also reminding us that we ought to enter into the rest of God. Now that's uh, letting us know that we will not simply slip into the rest of God because you know God makes it happen but God wants us to take an initiative rather he wants us to develop a walk of faith. When we are serious about it, when we are intentional about our walk of faith that's when we are able to enter the rest of God. Now what does rest of God mean? Rest of God is the fulfillment of the promises of God in our lives but also rest of God is a, a place where we are at peace with God and we know we receive this at the time of salvation but through a walk of communion with God we can maintain uh, this place of peace with God. Rest of God is also a place where there is no bondage now, where we are walking in the freedom of the spirit rest is also freedom in worship nothing is limiting us from expressing our adoration our love and our worship unto the lord and the freedom to enjoy god uh, fully and abundantly that's a beautiful place to be a place of rest and god is inviting us to proactively enter that place of rest don't let unbelief keep you out of that place of rest let's pray together heavenly father we thank you that you have made provision O oh god for us to rest in you lord we thank you for the rest lord that you extend to our spirit our soul and our body god even this day I, I pronounce it over everyone listening to me, every anxiety, every fear. Lord, let the power of that spirit be broken off of people, O oh God. Thank you for your rest, Lord. Thank you for your peace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.